Hey everyone, this is Greg from AI Light Show. In this video, we will be discussing color hold mode and how to set up the Force 1.0 to utilize that mode effectively. Now, for those not familiar, color hold mode is essentially a way of informing the internal effects engine to only utilize two colors when generating the internal effects. Now, you can switch between these two colors at will using the 10 color bank settings that are accessible on the Force 1.0. Now, first off, you wanna make sure your color banks are set up appropriately for this. You can access that under the main menu. And just as if you were setting these up for static color scenes, you wanna go through the same process. The only difference here is that color hold mode utilizes both the primary and secondary color settings. So what you wanna do for your primary color under bank one, you wanna set this to whatever color you would like. The secondary color, you wanna make sure you pick a, a color that complements your primary color. And then when you get to X group primary values, for any dynamic channels that have been mapped to one of these six groups, you wanna make sure this is set up appropriately to match your primary color setting. In this case, I mapped the color wheel of our Intimidator Spot 360s to group one, and I set this to map to match the primary color which I set over here. In this case, it was a blue color. So I made sure that the color wheel under the X group primary values for group one was set to blue. And for the secondary value, I made sure that the color wheel is set up appropriately to match the secondary color as well. Now you can do the same thing for all 10 color banks if you would like to utilize all of them. And then once you, everything is set up appropriately, you return to the main menu. And like always, we suggest saving this off to your DMX universe on the Force 1.0 before proceeding. And at this point, all you have to do is hit run and then we'll show you how this works in real time. All right, now first things first, if you notice on the screen here, there are two green indicators. The top one is labeled color hold mode. You'll see it's currently off. The second color hold bank is NA. This is because we have not activated any color hold mode banks yet. In order to gain access to those color banks, you hold down the mood button. In order to gain access to the mood shift operators, and you have color banks one, two, three, four, five. These are the same color banks that you access through the static color scenes menu as well. And on page two, you have static color banks, but in this case, color hold mode banks, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. If we go back to page one, and I turn on color hold bank number one, you'll see right here on the screen, we have color hold mode is on, color hold bank number one. And you can deactivate this at any point by once again gaining access to the shift operators and, and uh, touching the activated color bank and it'll once again turn color hold mode off. Now what we'll do here is we'll activate a simple sequence and we'll turn on color hold mode and shift between a few of the color banks to show you how it works. So let's get a simple sequence going. At this point, the eternal effects engine is utilizing all colors at its disposal. I will turn on color hold mode and activate bank number one. And now the Force 1.0 is only utilizing the primary and secondary color settings under color bank number one. And I can switch between any of the color banks at will. I'll turn on bank number two, bank number three, bank number four. And at any point I wanna deactivate color hold mode I just gain access to the shift operators on the mood and once again tap the activated color hold mode bank. And now the Force 1.0 is back to utilizing all colors at its disposal. And if I want to activate color hold mode bank number one, this operation applies to all three operation modes of the box. So for example, the same thing holds true for normal and for mood. It is as simple as that.